were very few people who got this Lynn drum machine. It was very expensive, mm. um, but it was something that people liked because it was the closest emulator to a live drum sound at the time. Right. Um, so we can play that clip. You can hear, this will sound very familiar to you guys. That's it. That's, that's the beat yeah. machine. Yeah. I mean, like, now it's appearing on Justin Timberlake records and stuff like that, you know, and snatches at a time. But, um, but this was Prince in his basement, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, this was, exactly. this was what he was using. Exactly. And what Prince did beyond that was he uh, processed the Lynn drum sounds through his guitar effects. So right. Right. there's an effect called the flanger, which makes it sound like this kind of laser winding up, winding down mm. sound that you hear in like Sex Shooter, She's Always in My Hair, right. um, Screams of Passion. It gives this kind of metallic sound to the drums. Mm. Um, and so Prince innovated. You know, he didn't just kind of use what was pre. Um, Program. Right. He he kind of would run things through his like exactly. um, guitar, you know, exactly. like just exactly. weird stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Um, One yeah. other thing that's Rock. very important uh, that the movie brought out was this sense of also a sense of competition. So if you look right. uh, on the on the board, you see that you have Champagne, Grand Central, uh, and you have a bunch of bands competing not only uh, you know just to be uh, you know good, but to be the best in that particular uh, city. Right. So I think that is something that is embodied in the music, uh, in the movie also with respect to Prince and, uh, and the time, and just that whole uh, dynamic where people were not just uh, fine with just being good, they wanted to be the best. And that, right. that was actually happening offline uh, prior, and it wasn't until I think you know, 94 East, where they said, mm. okay, we're going to take some of the best elements of all the groups yeah. and try to make so a go of this. And actually, 94 East is the road that goes from Minneapolis to New York. So okay. that okay. was, you know, them. Oh, wow. That's yeah. an interesting point. Actually. Yeah, that's them just, just saying, hey, we want to make it big. Right. We're the best. And Pepe Willie is the guy who was sort of the Quincy Jones of the whole thing, right. and bringing in the best of all of those young artists at that time.